Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm here in my backyard at 2,700 feet in Floyd County, Virginia, in the Appalachian Mountains. This is a great place to find so many things. The diversity of life in the Appalachians is unbelievable. And today I found an example of that diversity. I found the American giant millipede. It really is giant and it's aptly named. It's the largest millipede in North America. So today's episode is to take a look at close up and learn some things about this American giant millipede. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. The American giant millipede is also known as the worm millipede, and my favorite common name for it is the iron worm. <laughs> iron worm. This name relates to its long, worm like cylindrical body, and it's armored with a hard exoskeleton. Its scientific name is Narcissus americanus. They can be found in almost every state east of the Mississippi. This millipede and other invertebrate species can be found in forest leaf litter. I've often seen them crossing hiking trails during the day while they're most often described as being nocturnal. An easy way to find them is to turn over rotting logs. And this is always fun because in addition to finding millipedes, there's no telling what else you might find. You shouldn't have to turn over too many logs before you find one. Giant millipedes seem to be more sensitive to drying and desiccation than other millipedes. This restricts them to very moist or humid habitats. Millipedes, in contrast to centipedes, have two pairs of legs per segment. While the root word milli means 1,000, you won't find any thousand leg millipedes. And I believe the record number of legs on this particular species is 375, while most will have fewer than 50 pairs of legs. The coordination of movement of all these legs is spellbinding to watch. Paired legs will move in unison and trigger wave-like sequential motion down the length of their bodies. They can walk forwards, backwards, from side to side, as well as use these legs to burrow very, very effectively. Their legs and belly are more or less the vulnerable parts of their bodies. So when they're threatened, they will often curl up into a tight coil protected by their hard exoskeleton. Millipedes are detritivores feeding on decaying leaves and wood and the bacteria and fungi that contribute to the decay of this relatively inert leaf litter that's made up primarily of cellulose and lignin, which are difficult for most organisms to digest. Millipedes will also eat their own feces to make their digestion more efficient and grab more nutrients. As I researched the life history of this species, I was surprised, if not shocked, to learn that the females will lay us one single egg in a nest they build with regurgitated food and then wrap themselves around this one single egg until it hatches. So the newborn millipede will have only three pairs of legs. Millipedes are arthropods, and like all arthropods, they need to shed their exoskeleton in order to grow. Each time they shed, they gain more segments and more legs. So the longer the giant millipede, the older it is. They will continue to grow and add legs and segments throughout their lifetime. In captivity, giant millipedes have been reported to live to be over 11 years old. Like other millipedes, giant millipedes protect themselves by means of chemical warfare. Unlike some other millipede species, the giant millipedes do not release hydrogen cyanide gas, but they do release toxic and foul-smelling benzoquinones and other compounds. These chemicals are a strong deterrent to predators and can actually cause chemical burns. As you can see, the millipede I handled left brown and yellow stains on my fingers that just do not wash off. I would imagine that the staining is actually a result of minor dermatological burns. As always, use caution when handling giant millipedes or other millipedes. Always wash your hands immediately after handling a millipede 
and be sure to not put your fingers in your mouth or eyes until you have done so. These giant millipedes are absolutely fascinating creatures to look at and up, up close, and I, and I really had fun filming this one. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. If you like insects and arthropods and millipedes and centipedes, check out my playlist for more on this. And remember, if you like my channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door here in the Appalachian Mountains just outside my door.